you like anime? Do you like Japanese inspired things? Do you like clothes? I'm sure you like to stay warm. Well, I got this stuff for you. Introducing Imori.com, a website that introduces anime and Japanese inspired styled clothing made in house. And you can use the code Uchi15 to save yourself 15% off of all these cool, dope hats, beanies, hoodies, t shirts, sweatpants, and way more where that came from. That's Uchi15 at checkout to save yourself 15%. Off your entire order at imori.com. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Ooch. <gasps> now here with the homie Kai. And we are back again. Once, once again. How y'all doing today? Okay, so uh I had this man wait long enough. Um uh, sorry that I'm not this this week's this week's episode is uh is definitely not about to just be the long drawn out, like, hey, how you doing? We're uh here today, welcome, blah blah blah. Nope. We're going right, right into, into this shit. <laughs> We're not playing okay. games with this one. Don't know how long this episode is going to be, but this is basically the thoughts, what we thought about this entire chapter of which is chapter 60 Mirrors miscalculation so we were pretty spot on with as far as our predictions for what was going to happen with those nine uh uh promotional teaser pages like the little glimpse at what was happening for this week chapter go through those rough drafts uh, we definitely got those ha's right definitely had all that shit right um okay but to put it to put it simply like this whole chapter, the miscalculation was essentially like, you know, Goku's pretty, pretty much Goku's ability in using Ultra Instinct uh, sign. All right. Um, and even even though Goku is kind of forcing himself to use it at full power, quote unquote, it ultimately wasn't right. enough. It ultimately wasn't enough. And we both predict this, obviously. We literally both thought that uh what's it called that 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 ultra, that this ultra instinct was still not going to be enough Moro was still going to give him the hands i mean it did look i'm not not i'm not trying to undersell goku here either because there was a few times where goku did get some shots in but it still at the end of the day wasn't enough he had like a little key barrage here he had a bunch they had a bunch of traded blows they had they they had a lot of even face-offs they you know they had like some some wrestling, some wrestling, grappling maneuvers as far as like locking up hands and stuff. Had like a bunch of stare downs. And one thing that I do want to point out really quick is the concern of Beerus. Now, did you did you also think that that Beerus showed a little bit of concern? Oh, I saw that. Yeah, I saw that. He's stress eating right now. Yes, he. So <laughs> so right now, my man Beerus is out here fishing, right? Yeah. He's he's fishing and he overhears like the 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 conversation going on between Whis and Miris and you know like like you know Whis is asking like does moral strength exceed your expectations and then Miris is like yes to think that he grew this powerful he expected Goku or that he expect that Goku senses that well um and you know hence that this is a gamble of his tapping into full his full potential so like and of course they they do so what's so great about this is how well written this is and how important to detail that that Toyotaro hit the hit the hit the shit right on the head and of course Akira Toriyama supervising just to make sure shit is the way that it is but let's be honest here Toyotaro probably has the fresher brain and remember like memory I guess I should say when it comes to a lot of these things and right here uh, whether it was Whis or Mira saying, I'm pretty sure it was probably Whis, but it says Saiyans are known to exhibit untold power when their backs are against the wall, especially Goku. And I love how they're going back and forth, and 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 oh, and then Whis even mentioned he goes and Vegeta, and and he and, looks over too, yep. like with, that, with that quick pan. Yeah, man, like they know what's up. They know what's up. So now I want to also say that they hit us with a nice swerve, okay? And the swerve was that he did not know instant transmission. Everyone thought, oh man, this was a package deal. He was about to learn that shit first and just have it in the back pocket. He was about to pull up on Earth, no problem. You know what happened? These motherfuckers literally wrote it in that he didn't know. And it turns out he actually did not. He thought that he was either about to get a free ride and we learned some new things about the Yardrats and 
and that they have the rule where they're not allowed to like leave their planet for whatever reason and but he's like what of course like i i i heard i heard him say that in the napa voice where he's like napa like like what <laughs> <laughs> right so uh so so yeah like and so then they also explain like you know obviously like they have to they he had they have to use it and at, towards like an energy signature that they recognize and he's just like well don't you recognize kakra so again very nice important notes to the detail uh, the fact that they're doing, they're having these little callbacks and like reminding folks that like, yes, Goku has technically been here. Yes, Goku did learn instant transmission from these people in the first place. Um, and, and, and like, and, and, and another thing is that these guys literally, um, they, they kind of, I don't know if this was like, like already like known information, but at least now it's a hundred percent confirmed that when you're using the the power of ultra instinct you're like you're like key is not sensible so when they were like that is the official like god status yeah for power yeah like that is something that if you don't sense it and you know there's a there should be a fight happening the vegeta was smart and and he was he was smart enough to figure out like he must be using that ultra instinct and that's exactly what he said he said like, that fool must be using ultra instinct and only gods can sense that godly chi like oh my god this chapter was fire this chapter was a hundred percent fire so then he goes teach me he goes teach me how to perform is teleportation now and i was like i was, I was popping screaming. off <laughs> I, was, I was like dude he's about to learn this shit right now oh package deal Yup, package deal, hundred percent. Package dizzle, as you call it. Package dizzle, hundred percent. So not only does he fucking learn the shit, okay? Not only does he learn it, he masters it for one-time usage. Why? Because look, guys, at the end of the day, we're all rooting for Vegeta to be the fucking hero. We're all yep. rooting for Vegeta to get the W over Moro. Preach. We are literally rooting for all this shit to happen. But you have to you have to write the character correctly, even with the growth happening, okay? Yes. And, and what does he do? He says, I'm gonna learn this and I'm gonna master it, but I'm only going to use it this once because this is Goku's technique. I was like, and he goes, besides, I got something better anyway to defeat more. And like, bro, all, all of the props, are going to Vegeta during this entire arc. I don't care what anybody says. Vegeta, this is Vegeta's time. This is he, Vegeta's arc. He is this yes. Is Vegeta arc this is not the moral arc. This is not the Galactic Troll Prison arc. This is the Vegeta arc, 100%. So, so yeah. So of course, like before, you know, before the obvious return, right? Goku and Moro, they're still going back and forth. Goku is getting fucked up at this point, by the way. And even Mirus is like, this won't work. By relying on sheer power alone like this, he can't make the most of Ultra Instinct's strengths. And then Whis confirms, sadly, it doesn't look like we'll be witnessing any miracles today. And that is when Beerus notices. He hears that. And and he and then and then he and then he says, Hey Whis, I said I'm starving. I want to chow down on something tasty. And where else? Where else? Do they find tasty food that they that they leave their own <laughs> estate? Okay, so at this point, I also like I, well, the other thing I loved about this chapter is that they're even teasing Beerus's involvement, and they also paid more again another reminder, attention to detail, and and they and they and by saying that we and right here Weez goes. The birth and death of planets is simply a part of the great and long cycle of the universe. Excessive meddling on our part would affect the natural flow of these matters, which is not necessarily a good thing. And what's more, only the likes of Lord Beerus and the Lord of Lords can decide such things. It is not for the angels to intervene. So again, confirmation and reminder to those that need some refreshing. Because I know some of y'all just be fucking spewing out y'all opinions online without, you know, checking your facts first, okay? And at the end of the day, 
angels are not the ones that are supposed to intervene. It is up to the gods of destruction and the Lord of Lords to decide what happens or to, you know, because to, to in essentially destroy or not to destroy. So it's up, like, so we, it, the tease is there. Beerus versus Moro could be a thing. Now, I don't know if it's actually going to be a thing with, you know, how everything's playing out. Because, again, we'll go back to the action. Moro is rocking Goku's shit some more. And literally, this is probably the, 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 illest, the illest fucking panel that they had outside of what's coming. All right. Well, we're about to get to that in just a second. Okay. <laughs> My man, Moro, literally had like... Ping pong. He ping ponged his ass off the ground. Well, nah, he basketballed him. Ping ponged him. his ass off the transformation. Dude, he basketballed him with his foot. For technique. Yeah, like he he had so at, off of him Goku getting bounced around off the off the ground and shit getting hit around by Moro. Moro was so quick he fucking transported his ass like not I okay, obviously not his transportation, right? But he freaking literally quickly went to Goku, caught him in mid mid bounce with his yep. foot and fucking brought his shit down to the down to the freaking ground and you know what kai i want to say this real quick a little side tangent and then we're gonna literally I, I promise okay and then we're gonna go wild i am telling you right now moro is going to be playable in dragon ball fighters there is oh we've we've already discussed this absolutely no way they, dude this arc has been giving the the developers every single possible every move. single reason yeah like yo this man's gonna have the craziest command grab stomp just off this yeah. panel. Hey, I yo, need who this. Stomps gonna, who's going to stomp harder, Moro or Broly? I don't want to have that conversation. Like I said, short tangent. Anyway, we're going right back <laughs> into this, okay? Not doing that right now because <laughs> that will add two hours to the fucking podcast, okay? So he b basketball stomps, curb stomp, Gears of War stomps, Goku to the ground, freaking abdomen in. Goku, you can hear Sean Shemmel. Ah! Like, you can hear that shit, okay? He's spitting up blood and instantly loses ultra instinct that's that that is the craziest of power downs like that's like having the stove burner on all the way up and turning that shit the fuck off like that was insane right i was like yo and as soon as he started to absorb he's like absorb the energy we get another surprise and of course it, i thought at this point i was like all right here goes vegeta and nope it's 18 and 17 boom so we get eight more 18 and 17 again another attention to detail reminding folks like they don't have any energy to absorb say they say this right here 18 goes looking to snack on some life energy monster how about a taste of ours and 17 goes spoiler alert we don't have any and i was like although although what isn't 18 supposed to be human now that's yeah, I guess that that is something that That's the only thing that I was like, hmm, okay. Actually. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> it was like one of those I think I don't know. Like that's something This is a throwback moment. It's a it's definitely a throwback moment for sure. But on the on the on the topic of the art excuse me, artificial humans because that's what the androids are. They are literally artificial humans. Um yeah, cuz you know, for those that forgot, Krillin wished <clears throat> 18 to you know be normal but i i, I it, it's 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 kind it's it's funky it's it's really weird i think that that actually might be a small plot hole then at that point yeah yeah not that crazy of a big of a deal because obviously no, we got not. we got way bigger freaking things to worry about right now so of course right they start fighting back and forth a little bit meanwhile they go back to yards rat vegeta is <clears throat> learning how to do the old? Uh, I'm sorry, I was about to say ultra instinct. The fucking <laughs> <okay. laughs> Vegeta learned how that to is do a whole it. Whole other chapter. Yeah, instant teleportation, right? He fucks up the first time. He ends up in the fucking dumpster, literally like a couple feet away from them. And then, now here, now, dude, this part was probably <laughs> one of the best parts of the chapter, right? So he's like, I only needed to work this once. I'm fine if I can never do it again, right? And then he feels it. 
he goes that's goku's spirit why did it suddenly show up again and he goes he's no longer an ultra instinct that fool must have lost tomorrow and then pi bara was like okay fine this is an emergency i'm gonna break our planet's rule and i'm gonna get you to earth and vegeta as triumphant and as fucking godlike as this dude is, okay? <laughs> I almost had a Migos moment I if you feel that, it. I felt that, you I felt, felt me? That. You felt me? Okay, okay, okay. All right. So, all right, we're on the same page, okay? Oh my god. This man, this man, okay? He said, I have a feeling I could pull this off. Like, he, yo, he, there were so many anime moments in this shit, and obviously it's like, kind of redundant to say that because we're, we're literally reading a manga we're going over a manga right now but yo he goes like he puts it he puts his two fingers up to his freaking forehead mm. and he goes i appreciate everything hatsuka piabara right and then piabara puts him back into the freaking saiyan armor which to right. to be honest i was expecting him to show up in the yard rack clothes same I was actually kind of like, Same. I was like, damn, I really thought he was about to come to battle in the Yardrat, you know, outfit. That would be dope. Because we didn't really think about that because he he did change him in the first place and they've always been known to like do that, have right. that little ability, you know, just like Piccolo does. Dude, but... and you know what? It's a little side tangent. How many fucking characters in this goddamn show have the power of outfit changing? Like, Facts. we've it's seen whole, it it's... like <laughs> so many times with so yeah. many different races, like, Convenience. Yeah, for real. That shit is that shit is hilarious to me. But anyways, we're going right back into it. He goes, "Well done, enduring our brutal training. May you fight with confidence." And I guess having that same armor is definitely that confidence booster, right? Oh yeah. And he goes, "Yeah." And he goes, hm. and then boom, he fucking does it. He vanishes, and then the the instant gratification. No, right. no, like time wasted. Pi Barra goes incredible. Magic instant teleportation after so little training, and he said, "Yes, Vegeta's spirit is now on Earth." My man did it. We made it, literally. My man yes. did Bro, instant transmission. Vegeta confirmed instant transmission. Add it to the this list. This opens the world of opportunities for him to be an infinitely better character in games because <laughs> games don't follow shit because right. we all know that vegeta can you know boma or trunks can be in any type danger and he'll hit us with the actually kakarot i'm gonna just borrow this one more time exactly i said the same thing bro I so fine you don't want to use a vegeta okay go ahead tell me what will happen when your family's in danger watch how swift you do one of those instant transmission god fists. he'll yo he'll do it without the fucking fingers He'll just he'll he'll, <laughs> he'll he'll yo he'll be he'll be the one to do it without just like uh just like Kid Boo. Yep. Free. He'll he'll do it without the fingers. He'll get so nice at it. He'll literally like he won't even blink. I'm telling you. He'll just dude, hit you with the shit. Vegeta has literally all and they dude they, like I said they even say it in this chapter when Saiyans have their backs up against the wall they do some fucking nutty shit and yes like even 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 a callback not that this happened in this chapter but a callback to God of the the uh Battle of Gods movie right where Beerus laid hands on Bulma and what happened to Vegeta yep. my Bulma my man literally went super saiyan but they said they confirmed it for us he's like yo his super saiyan is pretty much the same on the same level as super saiyan 3 like dude I, I think I, I honestly think Vegeta is like 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 there's there he goes without a shadow of that oh no he's been a gangster like he goes without a shadow of a doubt so anyways we'll go back to the chapter right so 17 and 18 they're, they're trying to they, 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 hold on hold on because i wanted to oh I okay i'm sorry something else in there that's yeah like yeah, real yeah. Quick, right so we're talking about how vegeta like first of all yes we made it we actually made it yeah. he got it it's part of the package dizzle all that good shit oh yeah but goku right the character goku everything we've known about like dragon ball and everything else like don't get me wrong this man has put in mad work mad training mm-hmm However, in comparison to Vegeta, no, none. I'm gonna I'm straight call that out. Like, absolutely not. He cannot compare it to the type of training and like the amount of training that Vegeta's put himself through just to try to catch up the whole fucking time. That's so true. Which is really disappointing. But at the same time, we gotta acknowledge that these are now like, this is the Goku and Vegeta show officially as of today <laughs> because Vegeta actually gets his moment to shine hard enough to be dat boy, that gain boy. some new techniques, pull up 
late on the scene with the with the superhero cape, no actual cape moment. Mm. He gets his panel, mm. he gets his move, he gets his confidence, he gets his new power, he got his gi back. You already know Vegeta's lit right now. But let's Super talk about lit. the fact that we now have not one, but two prodigies in our Z fighter thing because Gohan is too, but we're just gonna for right now go ahead and say Gohan was a okay. uh, So moving yes, on from that, yes. it is the Goku and Vegeta show. Goku is the natural born prodigy and Vegeta made himself one. Facts, oh my God. You know what though? Vegeta he been, literally made himself one. He been, yo, but honestly, if you look back at his history, even though like like it's always been like a a, a race between no. who can be the strongest one but think about it pro like i feel like i feel like he's always been a prodigy but now he's really no. showing it i don't think so and i'm gonna tell you why i don't think so because even when we when we look all the way back at like planet vegeta and everybody else that was inhabited on it <clears throat> bro Vegeta was Vegeta was an OG just because he had a decent power level as a baby and he's the king's son like he's the right. prince of all yeah, saints yeah, that's right true. like he he's naturally going to have a little bit higher power because even if he wasn't born with it you already know his dad's going to put him through hell to try to be the next king that's, not like actual hell yeah. but like training hell to make him the next king that's true. so Vegeta was always like out the womb training doing <laughs> crunches like nah, yeah, he yeah, was yeah, yeah. he wasn't he he was not born with all that he just had that he just had the pride to push him through to like put himself where he belongs goku just kind of smiled wave and had that shit handed to him yeah yeah and i'm not saying goku didn't do training because we all know goku did training but i'm saying in comparison to yeah, Vegeta, yeah for sure so yeah in, in, that's what i had to say in comparison yeah it just it just made me remember like when goku had first unlocked super saiyan back in the day and vegeta right. almost like forced himself to like he put himself no he did at the worst conditions like he went to another planet with the the crazy mental conditions. breakdown exactly mental breakdown he put him he literally put himself on the edge and like pushed him pushed past his limits because of the situation he put himself in like it was literally life or death it's like i either turn super saiyan or i don't so it's like i always feel like he's had the embers of a prodigy but now that shit is it's burning flame fucking bro. bright it's son. an undying flame yeah all right so now we can go back to the chapter so 17 18, they, 17 and 18. They, they're fighting they're fighting moro literally like Again, they they are literally Toyotaro is providing Arc System Works and Bandai with Moro's move set like free. Like <laughs> this man That's has bad. has a counter. We literally have his counter and his block here. It's a it's literally an ab flex. Like he took he took a double kick from 18 and 17 at the same time, but then he flexes and humph, backs them off. And then 17 18, they they got the they they're about to give him these swiper hands, right? And then boom did nothing he goes such a power it's almost a shame i can't steal it so you know what's crazy moro's even showing some acknowledgement to the fucking androids absolutely which is dope like so much to take from this chapter guys like you guys have no idea even even gohan he's like piccolo should we join them piccolo's like and what let moro absorb right, our energy right. he's right. like yo diving into this battle recklessly would only feed more and more power which is also true and so here we go and and this is where you come in, okay? Like, like as as far as my my question, right? So Goku's sitting up, he's backing away. He's mm -hmm. like, I didn't think I'd turn out like this, or it. I, I don't. I didn't think it'd turn out like this. And here comes Vegeta, instant transmission on Earth, and we see and we see Vegeta's Cutting through the panel lines. Yup, literally, he is in and out of the panel. And Goku's like Vegeta, <laughs> like Vegeta is the page. Goku looks at Vegeta's back, and then Vegeta goes, "Hello, Kakarot." Looks over his shoulder. Now, I don't, I'm not sure if this is exactly how it looked went back during the Frieza part, but it might it, might be reminiscent. It is as close as it'll ever be. That's true. Yeah, I, I absolutely just, I'll take it. I'll take it because one, it happened. Facts. And because two. 
it didn't happen in the exact like homage way that we were like thinking about and we anticipated but it is close enough and this man really cut the whole panel i'll take that yeah he did like he did. So I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. Because they gave him that moment. You know what I mean? Like, they literally went out of their way. <laughs> yup. But, okay. So, now, guys. We're we're hyping up. We're hyping it up to the best parts of this fucking chapter right now. Okay? So, here it goes. Mm. First part is the confirmation of the character growth within Vegeta while still maintaining his true character identity. You know, we all know Vegeta to be very prideful. He's pride, you know, he has that same pride in him, right? So he goes, well, don't you look pathetic? What, did Ultra Instinct prove to be useless? And then Goku's like, <laughs> Teasing he's like, did you just use instant teleportation? And then Vegeta's right. like, worry not. I have no intention of pilfering your signature move. I likely wouldn't be able to pull it off again, and I won't be learning it after this. Both of those last, the, the last two parts of that statement, the I likely wouldn't be able to pull it off again, and the I won't be learning, mm -hmm. bullshit. I, no, no, Continue. no. I also agree because... Like you, like we said already. It's like we said that if and he's gonna when, whip it out when he really needs it. When his back against the wall, he will use it. Right, like it's life or death. Families on the line. Anything like that. Saiyans will do whatever they gotta do to like survive. You know, we saw it with Terminator Power. Goku literally whooped out Ultra Instinct, mastered. Just you know, just for a fucking tournament, right? So it's like, you know, here comes Vegeta, and he did it just to get back to Earth, so that way he could fight more one on one. And then he even says, besides, I've learned a far superior technique of my own. And again, right. this is just another, like, Saiyans being Saiyans thing. Because, you know, even though he says, like, he did instant, instant, uh, instant teleportation once just to get to Earth, right? That is literally, like, almost low-key, like, a monkey see, monkey do thing. Saiyans learn off each other all the fucking time. We've seen it. Literally, Goku... Saiyans learn off of literally everyone. Goku... I, yeah, that's true, too. Goku literally did God bind to Broly. Let us remind you guys. Then Broly fucking reversed it and did it back to Goku. In that... He said, no, you. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> he, he literally said, no, you. Right? <laughs> I, I feel like Vegeta... Whatever this new technique is, I feel like Goku about to fucking steal it eventually. Yeah! <laughs> eventually you know i'll just put that out there so you guys like you i probably did this to that's, a lot of people that's how they <laughs> that's how they could write in the actually with vegeta's not wanting to do instant transmission right because goku could see that move and then eventually pick it off because technically speaking as we already know all the moves that vegeta may or may not know his package dizzle from the yard rats are all actually one technique spirit control which goku's had for mad long so at the end of the day, they could totally write that and give it to Goku if they want. And Vegeta can, you know, grab him by the neck and just be like, hey, that's supposed to be mine. Like, what are you doing? He's like, you know what? Fine. Well, if you're going to use that, then I'll just use this transmission. And he'll just be like, okay, Vegeta. <laughs> Facts. And that'll be that. <laughs> yup. So, so here we go. So now here's the best part, right? So... They have a little bit of banter, Vegeta and Moro. They're going back and forth. Vegeta's insulting his fucking ugly face or whatever. And then Moro goes, And I have grown wary of, the, of planets that cannot provide fighters to match me. And Goku can't... He Goku's, like, alarmed, right? He, like, takes a little bit of offense to that. And then Vegeta, with a smirk, he goes, Oh, no cause for concern there. And he fucking... Now, listen. I want to explain to you my exact thought process during i just swiped to the final two pages of this fucking chapter okay vegeta powers up to super saiyan blue now to his now wait 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 wait, wait, wait. i, I want to tell <laughs> i, I want to tell you my exact thought process going in all right continue. when i'm reading panel to panel okay <laughs> moral right. looks at him with concern vegeta says you want someone stronger than you you found him now, let's get the joke out of the way because he does the, the signature death pose and that's like the, the signature, meme. signature, I am Vegeta, I am the legend, I am the, I am the death. Yeah, with the thumbs up <laughs> pointing to himself type shit, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm, so I'm looking at this and I'm like, okay, well, this is a manga. Obviously, this is black and white. So it's hard to tell with a, a show like Dragon Ball where... You know, we have so many different transformations and colors and we don't know what he exactly like like right. we can tell like you can tell like Super Saiyan to Super Saiyan 2 to obviously Super Saiyan 3 and even like Super Saiyan God for Goku at least because Goku has like the, the like his hairstyles and like 
the the sparks you could tell a super saiyan 2 with sparks you could tell super saiyan god if he has the base goku hairstyle while you know it, you could tell it's fucking super saiyan god and obviously if he's super saiyan blue then it's a super saiyan but he's got you know like it, it, you can just fucking tell with vegeta it's kind of hard so it's like I thought, I was like, oh, is he Super Saiyan God or is he Super Saiyan Blue? I was like, well, I guess we're going to have to find out through the fucking dialogue. And then I get hit with the fucking biggest actually and mix all at the same time. And for and I think this is like probably one of the first times ever. I could be wrong. But this, what we get found out now is the blended fucking interloping world of both the anime and manga versions coming together with this gohan confirms it for us and says that's the super saiyan blue form he used at the tournament of power what's changed my man vegeta is using blue gatorade diamond in the manga for those that don't understand oh my god why you gotta ruin it like that no he is, he is, <laughs> dude. What do you mean? No. I didn't think, dude. I did not think he was, they were gonna do that in the manga. I thought, cause you, every even geeked them. He was. He, red, everyone says red, red, red. red. Every, everyone says like, oh, like that's a Toei form. That's a Toei thing. Like they're not gonna do that. It's yeah. highly, highly, highly unlikely that uh, Toriyama, since he didn't do it, it, you know, I'm telling you right now, Toriyama, bro. It's either he's getting to that age where he's just ah, fuck it, go ahead, fuck it, yeah, you use it, go ahead. Soon enough. Next time we see Goten and Chunks, they're gonna be like, "Yo, I don't know what happened, Stop but talk, our tails came back." <laughs> oh my, <laughs> our tails came back. He's like, "Yeah, hey, we just, we just, you know, fighting all these with the Cell Juniors and shit." And I don't know, oh like God. they just, they just fucking, we, we ate some crazy fruit and boom, like our tails just came back. So, watch, some shit's gonna happen where that shit, that shit's gonna happen, bro. But anyway, the end of the chapter, Blue Gatorade Diamond. Most of y'all popularized that as uh, Super Saiyan Bluey Royal or whatever, Royal Blue, whatever. And the way I see it, not the way I call it, but the way I see it is the God version of Super Vegeta. Okay, I mean, I I wouldn't, but I can see why. But I definitely you wouldn't. You absolutely can. Like he gets <clears throat> bulked up, and since it's God, it's the same type of concept. Like he's not leaking anywhere. It's just a straight power up this time around. Yeah, but he's not even that, like, his Super Vegeta was, like, those versions were so bulky. They was overbulked. Bro, look at him in that last panel right now. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking. He, he, he's, he's definitely got some, 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 I mean, look, that's a whole kneecap coming. Like, that's a flying scene, like. Look at his arm. That's a, bro, that's somebody's head. That's a close-up shoulder. My man, look, hey, these are Saiyans, bro. Like, they got the muscle on them. They're packing. They're packing that, that heat, that meat. All that shit. Pause. But look, they, they got some. They got a little bit of saying with their muscle. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. So the end of the chapter, last ha last panel, Vegeta's charging at Moro, and Moro is about to take him head on. And of course, next chapter is June twentieth. <sighs> wow, what a fucking chapter. Chapter sixty, definitely one of the best of of this whole arc and this whole like manga run of oh, this whole dragon ball thing yeah yeah i can't wait for 61 like it's literally gonna be a head-on fight between vegeta and moro I, I i hope that next chapter it's gonna go like it like vegeta is just gonna fucking put in work like he's just gonna like handle moro but okay the one thing though we have to keep in mind we've that pose. we've not yes yeah, so we that pose and, and we've seen this <laughs> but we've seen this happen before where Vegeta uh -huh. has the upper hand, he gets cocky, and then he fucking get, he lets up, and then he starts fucking losing, and then it all, and then we fall back into the same fucking rinse don't, repeat. Don't jinx it. Don't jinx I'm it. Not, not listen, that. I'm not We're jinxing not it. I just want to make people aware that I hope that that is not the direction that we're going in, and that I hope that Vegeta. And that's it. We've adjusted. Yes. We will not adjust it again. Yes. Yes so we will not speak it into the so what are your what are your thoughts on this entire chapter anything you want to highlight talk about bring on whatever so, yeah so my thoughts on this chapter period right my thoughts on this chapter it's so simple one word yes <laughs> okay yes um as far as you know what? i will say something i actually like wasn't crazy about and this is just me mm. and 
I mean, y'all can feel any type of way you want to about this, but in my personal opinion, can we run that back to when Vegeta first transformed, like right here in this chapter? Okay. You see where he said that he had no cause for concern, or he was telling Moro that? Yes. Look at Goku. Mad as hell, kind of a... Uh, kind of insulted right like you said before like slightly insulted because moro straight up called him like trash facts now here's the thing in my personal opinion the way i wanted this to go or the way i i feel like it should have gone okay is very very similar but i just don't think i don't think they gave goku a proper beatdown. you want his ass to get shit he want you want his shit rocked harder I want his shit rocked, bro. To the point where, like... I want him... I want... Yes, okay. bro. Like, I wanted Goku, like, coughing up blood. Like, I mean, he did a little bit. No, no, no. I'm not talking about spits. I'm not talking about those... Ha-ha <laughs> punches. Like, no, nah, none of that shit. Oh. Like, I wanted him... I want him, like, gone. Like, I want his pupils gone when he gets hit. Like, I want Goku almost at the point where he's knocked the fuck out, slumped. Like, Moro put a pillow on his ass. Like... So, no. so let me, all right, so let me get this straight. So you basically want, you wanted Goku to feel the same kind of humiliation beatdown that Vegeta and the likes of other characters have suffered from in the past, where they're so completely incapacitated that basically a sense of being wouldn't really help that much. Yeah, you want his, you want his ass on the brink of death type of fucking beatdown. Yes. And the reason I want that, and maybe not to the point where he can't even swallow a sensu. Like, that, that, I mean, that's okay. But I'm just saying because those eyes, bro, those eyes and that exclamation point he got going when he felt a little insulted, that don't look like Quitter to me. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's true. And that pose Vegeta's doing. Yeah. I'm sitting here. I got my lucky charms. I got my dream catcher. I got everything. Like, don't do my mans like this, please. <sighs> <laughs> that like that's that's all i'm saying because we've seen goku take plenty of beatdowns all kinds of literal hell for him yeah and then in two minutes time standing up new form harder kamehameha than it was before like liz this is dragon ball anything can happen flip a coin okay so so I just wanted him, I wanted him at the point where like Vegeta was gonna get his moment. Like I wanted Goku on the ground to the point where like Vegeta showed up and he he opened his eyes and that shit was coming into focus. Yes. I told okay, I could I That's guess, yeah. what I wanted. Yeah. I I, I I will I will agree with you. I will agree with you. I'll say that I wanted Goku to be like dazed and confused and be like, What? Vegeta? Yes. Oh man. Yeah, that's right. Well, hey, hey, hey. Listen, this is the manga version, however. We gotta oh, I I know they could totally yes. do that shit. I'm not. I'm not doubting. This it. is definitely the manga version. I'm just saying. I'm just saying because to me, like, don't get me wrong. This shit was written perfectly. I'm just saying I would have liked Goku to really catch some hands for the sole fact that he can whip out whatever he wants whenever he wants it. He looks like he's got some fight. Goku. Oh, first of all, Goku always has some fight left in him. I don't care. Even when he's sleeping, that he has is. Fight left oh in my him. god, that's, okay? that's so annoyingly true at this point in life. So. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I'm saying if he's standing on one leg and he making like some angry faces and he's still able to communicate properly and you know manage his stupid face like everything's fine for the next two minutes as long as he gets a you know 30 second timeout tap in Vegeta you know I, I wanted him down I wanted him down so Vegeta can have his moment but hopefully he'll get it anyway so we don't gotta we don't gotta go there I'll say it. that was like my only my only gripe is the, the small change I would have made like the way he entered I'm gonna give you a scenario that I'm sure you're gonna be 100% behind. I'm already 100% behind it. Continue. All right, bet. So, okay. So check this shit out. So, <laughs> like, if <laughs> in the off chance that they decide to make this whole arc a movie instead, I will. I, yeah, I, I'm get. I hope they don't. Well, listen, listen. Just hear me out, okay? In the in the in the unlikeliness. Or whatever likeliness that they do make this arc a movie instead of just bringing this shit back to the anime. I will say, I will tell you this. I'm gonna give you a scenario that I'm sure you're gonna love and you're gonna be all about. And me thinking about it, I almost I, like I got chills. Like thinking about it in my head while you was just talking, dude. Just as you said, like the blurry vision, the 
Goku getting his yep. shit rocked, this and that, like panning up, panning up Vegeta. You know what I mean? Like, listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little callback. I'm gonna shout out Demon Slayer, episode 19. <gasps> I'm gonna, I'm gonna shout <gasps> out My Hero Rising, <gasps> Heroes Rising Stop. movie. I'm gonna. I, I, this is Dragon Ball's opportunity to literally have one of those fucking moments where they introduce a brand new song that's like so slow and soft and subtle, but it's so fucking powerful when you put it to a moment like this. And Goku, Goku's getting shit rock, and like you hear the, like the like the birds chirping or whatever. And then like imagine, imagine though, whoever makes this song, whoever composes this shit. They literally have like. There's only one composer. They, they only have the bells. Like they have the bells that from from. <laughs> no, stop! 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 Yeah. Stop! I knew you were gonna take it there. I didn't think Yo, you were gonna take it there, but you took they it. They have Fuck the you. bells and Vegeta pulls. Uh, I can't even say what happens in the <laughs> Heroes Rising, but they have similar sounding songs, and 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 Dragon Ball Super solidifies its spot for the entirety of the rest of humanity immortalizes itself beyond immortalization and it is like on some epic ass shit and everybody in the theater confirmed cries just off of the emotion and the feeling alone and then he and then they changed it they even changed it i don't even know if they changed the dialogue or not but you know like they had like vegeta has the little banter or whatever and then right as vegeta goes to fight more like and we don't know what's gonna happen after this but like Vegeta goes in, like he literally is actually stronger than Moro, and he fucks him up. He does the new technique and just completely bodies him to this fucking theme song. And that that is how you you take a character that was wrong for like that was done so wrong throughout the entirety of his career. Yep. That is how you take that and you say, All is forgiven. It's almost like you forget because that moment is so so raw and so pure and so perfect and 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 he gets the win and he does away with moro like and dude it just totally changes the landscape of dragon ball from that point onward like it's just like dude like and honestly whether they do that as a movie or not and the reason why i say a movie version is because you know how sometimes they have to condense moments right yeah that's why I, that's why i thought of it as a movie and obviously we'd have that godlike fucking animation quality but either way you know they, wait 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 wait. you know what they could do you know what they could do they could do, they could condense vegeta's moments training on yarja and fucking up and they can just give goku the background hour beat down they gave freeze dude hey that's that's a, that's, <laughs> very, that's very true that's what i'm saying like they could do it that way too and so like and 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 if we did the anime version i mean they could still do that like you know of course demon slayer's big moment didn't happen in a fucking movie the train movie arc at the time of this recording is not even out yet okay they had their moment during one fucking episode and it and it it solidified Broke. yeah it, it solidified demon slayer's spot as one of the greatest of all times for sure in a lot of people's hearts and then my hero academia had a similar moment even in the fucking movie that they had and oh my god like it like i'm not i'm that, not gonna spoil it but that since since we're on some cross shit anyway all my all my dub watches for dragon ball which actually is most people too at, at some point in their lives y'all see that cursed pose you already know that vegeta thumbs up all those dub people you know what you know what i would change that context to right there instead of saying you want someone stronger than you you found him what he would be like you want someone stronger than you don't worry because i am here oh shut up <laughs> If, if yo if they did that yeah. if they did that that would nah, nah, that'd be fucked that up. would no no, no 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 if they actually if they had vegeta say well i'm here bro nah it can't be i'm here no apostrophe it has to be i am here three yeah. words it needs to well it needs i to am here bro I, I am here i'm telling you right now if they if they actually do that shit the whole pause i am here people won't i i will i already defend dubs as it is but i will i will at this point say Yo, I'm like, if you can, if you ever have the balls to shit talk dubs ever again, you all you have to do is play that fucking scene. If that ever happens, <laughs> if that ever happens, all you have to do is play that scene. Because obviously, what are we talking about? We're talking about Chris Sabat. Okay, <laughs> we're talking about this man literally being the voice of Vegeta and All Might. For those that didn't know, okay. Yeah. Okay. A little fact. Check. A little fact check for you guys. <laughs> And he and 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 that is an All Might line. That is one of All Might's prestigious lines. That is his iconic line. 
Watashi wa kita! And guess what? They had different voice actors in Japanese version, so it's not like they can, that shit could happen in the sub, okay? Exactly. Ryo Horikawa, exactly. as would... godlike as he is, is not All Might. Yep. Okay? But we all know Chris Chris Sabre is a jokester. He could, you know, he could slip in a little I am here inconspicuously. If, if, dude, but if he, yo. He is the, you know, he, he running the shit. Kai, I literally would have never thought I would ever want to see that shit happen. <laughs> I, 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 I literally never would I never would have imagined that and now I I am and now you want it oh, now you need it <laughs> god now I'm only praying that whatever the fuck direction they take this they this this fucking animated version of this series I I really need that I need an announcement I need some kind of acknowledgement I need fucking something we didn't get shit on Goku day like every fucking year we 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 we, we, <laughs> we didn't get we haven't gotten any type of inclination outside of any type of story time you know thing from geekdom's point of view like all the no all the knowledge that he knows all the back the back the 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 background story with everything about how there is supposed to be ha something supposed to be happening but there isn't and the tale of the tape is the is the fact that okay now now we're putting it on the on the fact that it's on Toriyama now that he hasn't submitted anything else to Toei to proceed. But it's just like, dude, we have a whole manga arc right now to work with. If they were to just go back to doing the anime and listen here, honestly, yes, I know that they were, they're going to probably want to, you know, take full advantage of Dragon Ball getting its spot back and, and being on that early sunday morning japanese television time you know where it's a weekly show and it runs for as long as it fucking wants to because it's dragon ball right but honestly i i at this point i literally would be okay with them telling me okay we're coming back with another season and it's literally only gonna be like 13 episodes i would be like thank you i would literally just say thank you handshake dab and i'm out because it's dude it's been too long it's it's, it's it, like after, after them giving a shit like this and when, when we're just sitting here on a podcast thinking of the potential of what the future could hold all of these amazing moments to 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 get through the day and and to think about and and just more historic moments just for dragon ball and anime alone dude it's just not right it's just not right. Like they, they need to, to to fucking like, they need to just do something. Like like we can't go this long without like, like they can't bleach us. And bleach is fucking coming back before Dragon Ball does at this point in time. Like, they can't, they can't do that shit to us, man. Like, <sighs> and the other thing that I want to say back to the chapter is that pose that he does with the thumbs up pointing to himself. This could be the first time. This could be the, the, the break of the curse. This could be the time. Yeah, it breaks the curse. This could break the curse. Because normally, at, once he does that, it's like, oh, yeah, here oh comes arrogant, God. cocky Vegeta. He gets, his, he gets his five minutes of fame and then gets fucked up afterwards for someone else to save the day. You know, like, this could literally be the break of That's that curse. That's what I was saying. That's why, like, I want to Goku, like, KO. Do you like Attack on Titan, Dragon Ball Super, Dr. Stone, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood? Well, those are just a few of the several different hundreds of anime selections that you can watch for free with my trial code for Funimation Now. All you gotta do is click that link in the description below and check out Funimation Now for a free 14-day trial period to enjoy all of these anime and many, many more. That's Funimation Now by using the link in the description below. Any predictions for next chapter? You know, looking at that power and the way those kids were exhausted, I feel like it has to be some type of energy drain or he's putting a cap on how much energy Moro can output, like whatever his target is. That's that's really it seems like it's what he's doing. Yeah. I mean, we'll yeah, we'll see cuz we got a little tease of what exactly the power that he learned is, like this new this new technique or whatever. Um, if it's on, what is it, page, I'm gonna look for you guys real quick, uh, it's okay, so, so it's on page 19, okay, so if you guys have the, have your Shonen Jump fucking app, alright, this is of course no affiliation yet at least, but, uh, definitely supporting the official releases, page 19, 
of this chapter, you can see a bunch of the yard rats are kind of like all fucked up and on the ground. There's like one, two, three, four, they five, six. They just look six, drained. Seven, like, they look like they've been through mad shit and now they have no energy. They look exhausted. Yeah, they look exhausted. Like they can't, they cannot fight. They're like struggling to even get up. There's seven look, of them. And look at the pose Vegeta was holding. Have we not seen that pose be- like many, many, many times before? Like with some type of paralysis trick or some type of energy absorption trick or like anything. It's always that like those arms out. You know what the I mean? Mafuba. Like a very obvious, I'm about to cast some magic on your ass. Yeah. Yeah, once we see that pose again, Mor- Moro is done. And I just, I, 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 I truthfully and honestly, I will tell you this, guys, right now. No, wait. 100%. <laughs> This shit better fucking do it. <laughs> wait, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be an ass real quick, right? You see that picture where Vegeta huffing and puffing? Yes. Wait, like with his arms out? Uh huh. Imagine he does that technique tomorrow, like he transforms. You know, like it looks like Vegeta about to lose, and he just lifts his heads up, does like that little smirk, yes. puts his arms out like that, and he just goes, "My fuba, I'm done." <laughs> <laughs> Fucking evil containment wave without the jar. Right. <laughs> oh, oh my man. God. No. Had to be an ass. Continue. I mean, I would love for that. The whole smirk. He looks like he's down, whatever. And then he whips it out last right. second. Woom. Dude, look. I, I, That's some Vegeta shit, I too. I know. I know. And I'm telling you right now, I really hope and I just want them to just... I. I, I need Vegeta to have this. I need to G- Vegeta to have this. Like, I'm telling you right now, I am sacrificing a random cameo from Broly. I am sacrificing <laughs> any yeah, type of I like fusion. How he, he calls it sacrificing. Yes. Like, that shit really about to yes, happen. Yes, no, I'm sacrificing <laughs> that because I got to put that out first. I'm the Broly man, okay? I'm sacrificing that first and foremost. I'm sacrificing any kind of fusion, whether it's Patara or Dance. I don't care about seeing Gogeta in the manga right now. I am sacrificing bullshit ass pull ultra instinct mastered even from goku or vegeta doesn't matter okay i am sacrificing beerus i am sacrificing majin Buu involvement i am literally i don't want to see any of that shit i just want vegeta to get this win and, and when we say that, we don't mean give Moro a solid beatdown. We need Vegeta to be the deciding factor. We need Vegeta to be the reason that they beat Moro. Right. Like, ugh, dude. No loopholes. No loopholes, no bullshit, no nothing. Like. Right, right. And like you said, like it looks like Goku, he's not completely out for the count. Which is concerning. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, that's that's very concerning towards Vegeta's moment. So, like, Goku better just sit down, shut up, and watch. Yep. I, 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 I tell you, I'm telling you, dude. I'm telling you right now. I, I, I'm 100% telling you that, that they need to just, they, they, like, like, the fact that we're literally rooting for Goku to stay unhealthy and out of this stay fucking down, battle. fam. <laughs> dude. I really hope so. Nobody tag him in. Like, dude. Oh, man. See, this is this is, this is is where it, things get a little scary. Nobody use their assist. No, nothing. Nobody use their level 1s, level 3s. Get no, on, keep them get away. Get on the fucking bench. Get them the fuck out of here. Do it. Like, like, dude, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm, I am telling you, it ha- this this has to happen this way. Like, cause the this 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 manga arc has built itself up to be so good, to be this good, right? That if they and if they pull another, if yeah, they fuck I'm if they it. fuck this up, it'll be another megalo box. It'll be another shitty Stop. situation. You know, it'll be another great don't, don't talk great fucking show great arc whatever you want to call it and they will it'll all come crashing down yep. and would, we're just gonna we're just gonna say we don't need another arc ruin that's it. yo honestly this is we don't need to speak this is it. dude honestly this is treading very very thin ice because yo absolutely because bro we have never even gotten this close to seeing this kind of thing like you know what makes me mad you know what makes me mad 
Vegeta's about to get this moment, right? Vegeta looked like he about to take this W, yeah. right? Eh, wrong. You know why? Let's go back. Movie count real quick. You said you want to see this in a movie? I bet. Let's pretend it's the fourth movie. Real quick tangent. Mm. Pretend it's the fourth okay, movie. Okay. Let's get this shit going, right? Battle of Gods. Mm -hmm. Vegeta versus Vegeta versus Beerus. What happened? Slap. Rocked. Right. What happened? Frieza movie. What happened? Vegeta versus Frieza. Bop him, sop him. <laughs> <laughs> More fun what than happened? a pillow fight. Vegeta, Vegeta versus Broly. What happened? Yeah, yeet. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, they took to they took it all away. Like Goku got his ass beat harder in the Frieza movie than he is right now. Yeah. That's concerning. Yeah. Yep. And Goku, of course, managed to <clears throat> squeeze one out and uh, steal it. That steal it then too. With one Kamehameha. Facts. Like, oh my god. Yep. That shit, that shit should have been Vegeta's moment there. They shouldn't have never taken that from him in that movie. That's not even funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's straight disrespectful towards the whole character. That's disrespectful to the whole character, the story, like... Everything. Everything. The whole canon. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. 100%, dude. So, yeah. I agree. I'm just saying, like... This is treading on thin ice because this is the reality, right? You guys, like, you guys, as in, like, Toriyama and Toyotaro, right? Like, everyone, everyone at Shueisha, everyone at fucking Viz, Shonen Jump, whatever, like, the Shueisha headquarters, all that. Jump headquarters, whatever. All these people that are behind this, that the, the decision-making, whatever, with, with what's going to happen, <clears throat> they need to realize that they have worked on and developed and have produced a really 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 well written arc for dragon ball super the manga and if they fuck this up i'm sure it's not really gonna hurt dragon ball super it's, that it's, much it's not gonna hurt the ip uh, that much but it's going it's to at the same time yeah because it's gonna be more disappointing. Exactly, a lot of people. We're not gonna be mad. We're gonna be disappointed. That's what. Hey, oh, oh! You wanna know something? It's gonna hurt more because it's recent. Like it's one thing. Right. It's one thing. Like, you got your Gohan fans. You got your fucking the the people that they're, they're so far up their own ass with Gohan that they don't even realize. Like they don't. <laughs> they don't understand characters and 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 the traits of a character. They don't want to say like like. This is to every single person. I am sorry if you get offended by this, but this is to every single person that's ever said Goku or no, I'm sorry. Gohan needs to redeem himself. Redeem fucking what? Wait, people say that Gohan needs to redeem himself. Dude, we've himself? talked about this a million times. They there's been people that say Go, Gohan needs redemption. He needs to redeem himself. He needs to I mean, he needs to do this. Okay, he needs to Gohan, do that. Gohan deserves saying to to me, like this is just some grammatical shit, but like to me saying that Gohan needs or Gohan deserves redemption is one thing, but saying that he needs to redeem himself, get the fuck out of here. Like dude, like what is there to redeem himself? Like th these are these are the same types of people that forget that Gohan was born his own person, literally has his own kind of characteristics to make him unique to his own fucking father. He, he is kind of part human, you know. Yo, Stop forgetting right, that. Like, he's not all the, saying blood, monkey see, monkey the, do. Like, he's not about that fight, fight, fight. He's about that study, learn, study, learn, and he's read. He's about peace. And literally, like, yes, he is a bookworm. He like, he, like, people like to throw the blame at Chi Chi, but guess fucking what? Dude, if he really, like, think about it. If he was more like his dad, would he really be fucking studying all the goddamn... I'm sure he would be when she would lock it down, but he's a Saiyan. He would probably sneak out. He would probably go be fighting. Yep. He would go He'd be train. like Goten. He, He'd be like Goten. Exactly. Like, he has... Goten at least, at least shows more interest in doing that type of shit, okay? Gohan is different. But, uh, look, that tangent is alone. That... I, I bring that up because, um, that is... That that like that's something that like that, that that people just have to understand like that like that that because it happened then right like we 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 talk about it in 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 past terms in past tense that realistically that should happened like over twenty years ago okay and <laughs> and 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 through educated folks like ourselves who can talk to others about this and put our opinions and actualities out there of how it is okay then. Uh, then you know then that's 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 okay but if we have something like this where it's like 
we build this shit up and it's recent it's relevant it's now and they they fuck this up for vegeta dude it's gonna leave such a shitty t- it's gonna be leave it's gonna leave a, a shittier taste worse than anything we could have ever imagined to fucking happen like this would literally be worse than any kind of fucking loophole not loophole i'm sorry uh, a plot hole anything that they was forgotten about anything that just didn't fucking make sense Pe- people think that people oh, i'm telling you people think that f- they did gohan wrong please please y'all got i would say y'all got spoiled back even back then not even because it, it, it like they they set up gohan to be the hero for that for that instance but that was it nobody wanted that shit <clears throat> so that's it that's it we're about to fucking end this shit like literally right on time you got anything else to add that you want to add nah i laid it all out there all right guys well as always let us know your comments down below uh like share subscribe all that fun stuff uh hit us up on twitter all that not doing no previous oh shit let me see i don't think there is i think there's anything like i mean there might be maybe some new stuff i haven't checked <clears throat> all right i'm looking right now so we got the full power box episode 16. A while ago. We got someone saying loving the videos. Appreciate that. Word. Oh, and then someone else just said, I don't know why I'm just not finding this podcast on anime. It's a great idea. Keep grinding. Thank you, sir. Yeah, um, oh, yeah. And I did. I guess I did say that I would look at uh, episode 14, right? Damn, 14. We on 17. Slack it. Or was it? No, no, no. I said a. Uh, I know. Oh, yeah, I, I did yeah, say I, I, I did. did say I was gonna look at fourteen. Okay. This looks like it is for fourteen right here. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna quickly breeze through these real quick. Fourteen was the last chapter or something, right? Like we we no we, top like, five best DBZ it, moments. You did your own thing. Oh, that was the best DBZ moments. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So okay. So it's just people going through their through their uh through their like top five moments and stuff which is dope okay so yeah like i said i'm gonna read these real quick so uh five definitely when vegeta sacrificed himself to save everyone he loves against boo that's number five number four first time seeing vegeta going super saiyan and defeating android 19 number three first time seeing future trunks and easily defeating frieza king cold godlike number two go on and sell juniors because it's the first time we see how powerful super saiyan 2 is and number one go on to turning super saiyan 2 at world tournament at the beginning of Boo Saga it has to be the original Japanese episode because the music was everything. Great episode, guys. All right, thank you for Else Forever Hope. Um, yeah, I could, I could, I could, I could definitely uh, rock with this. Definitely, definitely that number one. Go on turning Super Saiyan two at the World Tournament because that was, that was against fucking Spopovich. My man put hands on Videl. You don't do that shit. Yeah. You definitely don't mess with a Saiyan's girl. Like I'll definitely say that right there. Um, okay. Then we have someone else that says, "What if Goku brings back Bardock with the oh my god, with the Dragon Balls and Goku trains <laughs> with his father and Goku teaches Bardock Super Saiyan God and then Blue and Ultra Instinct and we all want to see Bardock in the show when it comes back and he is badass and Bardock and Goku can do a father son Kamehameha at any opponent they want to and we need to see Gogeta Super Saiyan four in Dragon Ball Fighters." The last part I definitely agree wow. with, I suppose. Um, I responded with laughing emojis, and they responded with I was being serious. So, uh, I mean, that is a very Super Dragon Ball Heroes scenario. Um, Goku bringing back his dad that I don't even know, like, I don't know if Goku really wants he doesn't have like that yeah like the way they made it seem in the broly movie at least when they sent him off as a baby they made it seem like he would have had he would have still had memories of his parents but right as you see from you know how the story proceeds after that he don't fucking remember anything he hit his head and that shit just went with it so I don't think I don't think Goku has ever like that's the thing. Goku is the kind of character that he is focused on very few things. And one of those things is always getting stronger. He doesn't waste time thinking about things that could have or hey, did this ever happen? Like 
He, there's never, I don't think there's ever been an episode where he's literally sat there and been like, hey, like, whatever happened to my real parents? Like, nope, never not once. Like, you know, and you know what, though? I could be wrong because that's something like that could have happened in Dragon Ball. And Dragon Ball is, a, is, is the original Dragon Ball. I've only seen a bunch of random episodes on TV when they used to air it. But that's something that I, I never actually read through or okay. watched through from start to finish. Okay true it could have but i'm gonna go on a limb and say that it didn't for the sheer fact that in dragon ball z he did not know goku did not know he was a saiyan until Rax. he didn't know shit he thought he was just a special monkey with a special tail that got brother cut yep i remember that shit so yeah um for that to ever happen like I, I'm just being nice, I guess. But for 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 there to ever be a situation where Bardock is for whatever reason ass pull brought back into the current relevant recent Dragon Ball story, um, it would be a stretch for sure. But it would have to be like someone else's doing. Like they would literally either have to a wish him back into existence, or b. He never actually died, and they they bring some kind of light to the story of Bardock that was literally a like a what is it? lost to time. Yeah, it was like a three episode thing that uh, that they did where he goes Super Saiyan and like he ends up you know fighting Lord Chill. Yeah, like that scenario <laughs> happens, and I don't think I don't even think that's that's canon as much as I like. No, 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 no. Okay, like, as much as I used to say, like, yeah, that shit is definitely canon, because now that means that Bardock is the legendary Super Saiyan. <laughs> like, I used to say that shit, I'm not gonna lie, I used to say that, but to be honest, I'm like, no. Before we were educated. Exactly. So, I, I hate to break it to you, my friend, but it would be a really big stretch. There'd have to be a lot more lore. You know what? You're more likely to see a character resemble Bardock in Universe 6. How about that? I'll give you your hopes up just by saying that. Ooh, that's a good point. Yeah. But I don't know. Mm, mm. No, nah, that's a good point. I'll leave it Yeah, there. we'll leave it at there. Um, we have, it looks like we have one. No, we got two more. Okay. Um, number five. This is another top five. So Birth of Vegito against Super Buu and him showing all his good, cool moves. Number four. Number four, oh. Gohan going Super Saiyan 2 for the first time and wrecking Perfect Cell. Okay. okay. Number three, whole Majin Vegeta arc all the way up to his final atonement. Damn, right? Damn, that's a whole... Okay, damn. Uh, number... He's a, the whole <coughs> arc. He's at every frame of Majin Vegeta in it. Yeah, number three, the whole... Okay, I said that already. Number two, the debut of Future Chunks where he comes and pulls out the sword, slices everyone up, and they don't fall until he sheathes the sword and then kills Freeze and King Cold. Yeah, that shit was fucking fire. That definitely definitely one of my my favorites. Uh, number one, my number, uh, wait, what? Okay, Goku going Super Saiyan three against Majin Buu. Just the process of him going through it and the music, it was perfect, and nothing has beat it to this day. I mean, that's something that people like to shit on Bruce Faulkner for, but I will always say like that is the one time. No matter how you you want to feel, if you're a fucking purist, well go get your fucking toilet paper and clean up all the shit around yourself because that moment was fucking godlike. I don't care what anyone says. On TV, in America, or ever, ever in the world that had the same shit that we did, that might have, probably not, but if you at least heard that shit, that moment was fire. And, and, and definitely is better than the Japanese version by a long shot because that 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 music is so like people want to fucking hate on that shit all they want but oh, why is it bro. why are there so many remixes explain to me that why is it used in memes why 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 like why is it used in memes? like exactly like if it's if it if it wasn't popular why is it still why do people still talk about it like that's how popularity works like even if if, if it's hated on dude people still talking about it there's there's a there's a, there's a common thing like it it's even if it's hated on it's talked about enough to the point where people are able to identify the differences in dubs of dragon let me ball ask you a question do people talk about dragon ball evolution i'm sorry what i, I rest my fucking case next comment 
Thank you for your top five list, Crimson. The next person, okay. This man gave me 12. What the fuck? All right, okay. So read the top five. Okay, hey, there you go. Super Boo kills the world. Okay, no, number four, introduction of Imperfect Cell when Cell drank that guy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, number three, Android 16 versus Imperfect Cell. And number two, the car episode. Number one, Vegeta sacrifice against Fat Boo. Okay, so that, uh, it seems like uh, some of the listeners agree that uh, Vegeta sacrifice against Fat Boo was in their top five. So that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, so that, that's all of them. So now we are caught up and up to speed with all of you guys comments and these are all uh, of course the comments on the youtube channel now remember if you guys want to leave a comment uh let us know what you guys think um of the podcast at all uh let us know on the youtube comment section or you can use the hashtags full power podcast or ask fpp uh use both and then tag myself and kai uh, that's at kai cast and that's at uchi games so that you can uh have your question featured here on the you know the closing notes closing moments of uh this here episode so with that all being said guys want to thank you guys for listening this far hope you guys enjoyed the the thought portion of the latest chapter dragon ball super manga which is chapter 60 next month june 20th um i wanted to check right now just to see what day that falls on um in the week and it looks like it is a Saturday. Interesting. Okay, so that'll be fine. Um, I think from um, from now on going forward, um, we're going to... Def- so this is obviously a very Dragon Ball-centric podcast. Um, but because the chapters are very, very important to, you know, content-wise... Um, and we don't want to delay these episodes any more or not that we we might have to, you know, because like we don't want to record an episode when we record them and then like have you guys wait to hear what we think, especially when a chapter comes out. So normally just keep this in mind. Fridays are the, the usual time of release, but there will be special occasions where they might be released after Friday. So in this case, like full power podcast episode whatever that is will be coming out on that day because it will we will literally be talking about that chapter on that day and i will release it on that day any other time where there's no chapter for that week or whatever they will they will release on the normal friday times so just to put that out there so there you go um so, yep, like I said, like, share, subscribe, hit us, hit us up on Twitter with your questions, comments, concerns. Make sure you are liking the YouTube version video, of course. Um, stay inside, stay clean, stay positive. Uh, keep it locked loaded right here. Keep it fresh and classy. We will see you guys next time.